I thought you were serious. I thought he was playing. Go ahead. So what we have here, we just got some. <laughs> he cut off, bro. <laughs> it's cut off. Why are you breathing like a fat person, bro? What up? Oh. We got more tent inquiries. <sighs> Alright, so what we got right here is a single window tent, so very basic and easy. What we're gonna do is match the driver's side window, which we put our police tent meter on, and it came out to be 20%. So this is gonna be an exact match. Got the whole windshield, too. I, just, I, I, I was used to one of these cars. These are quick, bro. Well, it's got Brembo's, everything on it. It probably is. These, these are all wheel drive, too. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you see your two, uh, your two stud patches? Yeah, I don't know what to use them on yet. I'll get two more miles under the template. place. I gotta figure out what to use them for. Well, once I said I got this back. Oh yeah, you said more bottles. You do that one and then we'll have a total of three. But Two in the vinyl department and one in the tent department. Nice. So we do this so we don't really cut on a vehicle. It's a little trick. Man, people don't hear, someone hear you say something reckless and funny, bro. Say something reckless. <laughs> look, 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 chill. So, look, this is what we finna do. We finna take the tin off that car. No, <laughs> said, we gonna take the tin. We gonna take the tin off that car. Oh, look. I was missing one of these on my old car. I know this is petty as hell. So, it's a strategic process I do to show you the windows come out super clean. And that process is one, scrubby pad, get any type of little loose glue, little old stickers there on that. And then I come through with the razor, make sure there's not any hard little burrs or any, you know, just glue or something that's left over. Yep, you never know. Even with the newest cars, don't, yeah. don't care if it has no miles on it, still just do the same process. So, do that, clean this up real good. And I come through. I was watching a video yesterday and you almost had like, I don't know, it kind of looked like a sheet it just stuck at the top of this and just kind of drooped down. Yeah, they had the king got one of those. It just seems like kind of like over. I think so. Overboard. The iron vehicles, like especially like all your Tesla, like how to have that, what do you call it? What kind of leather is that? Alcaterra suede. Alcaterra suede. You definitely don't want to get that wet. I've even seen, I think on some of the, I don't know if it was a Charger or some one of those cars, but like any suede, any of that, you don't want to get that wet. So I think on those particular vehicles. Vehicles. Definitely. And, uh, but contamination is a lot of stuff, so. Yeah, we want to make, there's, everybody still holds dirt and dust and grime and we just want to make sure that doesn't get in between the film and the glass. Mm -hmm. Like as I've been recording, I've just been in this one spot, so while he's moving around, it's not two people stirring up dust. I'm gonna drop that, like that. Like that. Try not to even touch the film, because even the lot of times the film will leave like little speckles of dust. So what I do is I grab the liner, grab it that way, so there's really no film. And I'm gonna try to that side at first, kind of scratch the film like that, put another touch. Yeah, real smooth, real smooth. And then get it as close as possible to the top edge. Definitely don't want it overhanging at all. Because it overhang, it will it will peel eventually. Oh yeah. You're actually moving and grooving really quick through this too. Yeah, I take my We're only just gonna push out all the access to water. Kind of like a medium hardness. Is that a new one from the yeah, show? I got a new one. Nice. Because after a while they'll get like little burrs or little kinks there. Yep. So then we're going to do this. Tell people about the, the after look of having a fresh tent done. Okay. So you see how I just applied the water to the glass in between the film? A lot of that moisture and the water will stay in there for a couple days. And as it's curing, what happens is it creates like these little small water pockets. Some people might associate those with bubbles. 
But those aren't dust bubbles, it's just literally the water and the, the water in between the film and the glass as it evaporates. So when we initially put the tin on there, it's solid. You won't normally see it. But as it starts to cure, it creates like these little small little water pockets, which, you know, looking at it, it looks kind of crazy. It looks like we might have did a bad job. It looks like little bubbles, but that's actually just the water in between the film and the glass. And it normally dries out. I mean, honestly, if it's a hot day, I've seen them, you know, dry out in one full day. But usually it takes about two or three days, depending on the outdoor temperature. Mm -hmm. There's nothing to do to avoid that. There's no way to like super dry. You just gotta kind of let it naturally do that. And after it does that, it completely adheres to the glass. The film's cured. You can roll the windows up and down. So if we ever tell you you can't roll your windows down, it's because the film's still wet and what still has that moisture in between it, it could peel or, or fall off if you don't um, let it, you know, run its course like right, right. and let the <clears throat> adhesive stick to the glass. And that's, so, that's just for the new people who haven't had tent done, because we have some customers ask us every once in a while, like, hey, what is this? Will it go away? Yes, it will. But now this is real clean. Like I said, he just did a 20 on the front. He took the rain guard off to get that out of his way to make the install a lot easier. Um, you will see install mark for the first couple days. Those will go away. It is lifetime warranty, so nothing to worry about. Yeah. And then, uh, and the warranty is from the manufacturer. They say for a lifetime of the film that'll never fade, turn purple, or peel. Uh, we do use a local distributor, which is uh, Global. Uh, other film that we do carry, which we only carry their QDP, mm -hmm. which is their Quick Dry Plus. Uh, and then we carry their ceramic lines. So both of them are lifetime warranty, so you never have to worry about having to pay to get the windows tinted. But there's certain circumstances that are not covered under warranty. Um, I'll give you an example, like my wife's vehicle every year, so I have to retint her driver window, her ring. I guess when she's talking on the phone, constantly hits it, puts these little nicks in there. Oh. So nothing like that, any physical damage wouldn't be carried under warranty. It's only if the film actually fails. So uh, I just, like I said, I know on her personal vehicle, every couple of years I retint her driver window. Even the seat belt, when you take it off, sometimes it goes flying and clean. So, hey. Besides that, that's, that's pretty much all I have to say for this one. Yeah, it's pretty bulletproof. It's real nice, but there's definitely a difference between regular film and ceramic, which a lot of people will not know that. It just has like a heat rejection, so you don't feel all the heat coming through the windows. So a lot of those people that are constantly running their AC, if you have ceramic film, you don't have to run the AC all the time. It'll stay a lot cooler in the vehicle. So that's definitely my favorite thing. What's up? Alright, we got these glass cleaner glass cleaner Glass cleaner, quick wash, whatever you need. It's, it's pretty much just denatured alcohol. This is what we use. Yeah, it works great. It evaporates. It doesn't leave streaks. You see? Cleans everything. 